this is Chala. I I can't believe I just wasted so much time just to make a funny intro, and I can't believe this is what Go Animate has become. What the fuck? This is like really high tech. Hello, Ch Chandler Four is back in the house. So welcome to another video. At first I thought I would do these stories in order of real time, and that's how I've done it so far. But I thought I would now break that system and just tell the stories I feel like telling. There's multiple reasons for that. Firstly, I want these to be actually entertaining, and there was like a long period of like, let's just say, shit in my life after the previous story on this channel and I don't know, I don't really feel like making depressing stories, but you know, I might, I might change my mind if you guys would be interested in hearing that type of stuff, uh, but anyway, as you might have noticed, all my stories are about drinking alcohol nowadays, because that's pretty much all I did when I was younger, or that at least that's when all the good shit happened when I was younger, or the bad shit, or the weird shit. But it's all about the dang dang sticky icky now in the present day. So I thought I would tell the story of my first time smoking the ganja bis, as some people have also requested it. So this story also started out as a drinking story. It took place shortly after I had graduated high school. I was 18 years old. I did have some friends I hung out with at the time, but the thing is, I wasn't really actually like good friends with any of the people in those groups one on one. I was just a part of these groups sometimes when they went out to drink. I never really talked with them outside of the weekend drinking sessions. So because of this, I was willing to go out with anyone who would invite me basically in this period. So one day this girl from the 11th grade invites me to a live performance of some amateur rock and roll band founded by one of her classmates. You see this girl was seen as a little bit of a meme by most people I knew. She was always trying to talk to the guys in my class on Facebook and the way she started conversations sort of became an inside meme. They mostly disregarded her because of how she was trying to talk to everyone, which was a shame because she was actually pretty cool to be around if you set that aside. I'm gonna refer to her as Pike in this story. So Pike invites me to the live show of that amateur band in a bar downtown. I didn't have anything better to do, so I said, sure, I'll be there. Cool, sick. So it's Friday night and I walk up to the bar and there are like a bunch of goth and punk looking kids standing outside there smoking cigarettes and shit. Pike and her two friends, I did mention that, but she also invited two friends. They are also there and she introduces me to them. One of them looks like a goth like the other kids there and the second one looks pretty geeky I guess. So we go sit down inside because the performance was supposed to start in around 10 minutes. Pike is just memeing around with the goth and the geek while well, I pretty much just sit there silently like I'm accustomed to. They got a few drinks already while well, I get nothing yet because I was broke as fuck. So strangely, when the 10 minutes had passed, none of the band members were even there yet. I think it was one of their first ever performances as well, so it was pretty weird for them to be late like that. You know what, they didn't show up for the next all hour. According to Pike, they were probably getting drunk outside somewhere before performing, which could have been the truth because the show was not good. It simply wasn't good. We decided to leave early and go somewhere else. We had to stick around in the town because apparently the geeky girl had to catch a bus to her hometown in a few hours and Pike and the goth wanted to send her off. So we end up in some outdoor event where some more amateur musicians are performing and people are drinking. While I had been pretty quiet for the whole night so far, these three had been really chattering and some talk about me had started to occur, mostly just as a little bit of a meme to hint that I can be more talkative if I want with them. The goth girl? I'll probably have to give her a nickname as well in this, so I'll go with uh... uh Twisted Mind? 
Twisted Mind is starting a conversation with me while we smoke cigarettes in the smoking space, just sucking on the fags. And yes, I, I, I did smoke cigarettes, I did still smoke at the time because I was young and edgy. She asks me about what size my ears are stretched to and some other appearance stuff. I don't know, maybe I looked a bit goth myself. I was wearing all black if I remember correctly and was wearing the fucking thief beanie on my head. <laughs> anyway, she talks to me about some stuff and wants to buy me a drink since I was broke myself. Well, I didn't have any objections, so I said, sure, cool, fucking sick. And I also start sipping on an alcohol myself. After some time, we also got bored of this event and wanted to go somewhere else once again. And uh, we end up in yet another pub. Apparently, Twisted Mind was a frequent visitor of this one and has some connections there. It was a rock and metal themed place, so I could see why. So uh, we sit down there and grab a few drinks. Twisted Mind buys massive ass glasses of beer for me and herself. I don't remember much about the other girl, the geek girl, but I do remember one thing clearly, and that is how she was on her fucking iPad all the time. I really don't know why it was so annoying to me because everyone else is also on their phones all the time, so it's really not any different. Uh, okay, so not, not really much has happened at this point in the night, but now that more alcohol is being consumed, some changes are taking place. Twisted Mind insists on buying me one more large ass beer and wants the two of us to have a fucking chugging contest. Judging from what happened after that, I can safely say she just wanted to get me drunk fast. So anyway, we didn't have a chugging contest, but I did drink that shit pretty fast and I did get pretty drunk. And uh, so we go outside for another smoke break and Twisted Mind is starting to get strangely up close with me outside there and is constantly making physical contact with me and being overall flirty and I don't know, it was getting a little awkward for me. I didn't really know how I should act but thankfully it was now time to send the iPad girl off into a taxi to the bus station. So we say our goodbyes and off she goes. Cool, sick, nice. Pike and Twisted Mind didn't want to go home yet though, but any of us barely had any money left for the evil fluid at this point, so we had to figure something out. Pike said she knows some guy who has some alcohol and whose place we could conveniently go to right now. The only thing was he lived on the other side of the town. And it was past midnight, so public transport wasn't an option until 5am. So this is where one of Twisted Mind's connections I mentioned earlier came into play. Apparently there was some middle-aged dude there who served as a cheaper taxi for some of the pub's visitors and uh, she knew him pretty well so that was convenient. She told him she would pay for the ride next time she visits the place and since she went there often the driver guy was okay with it so. Pike sits in the front seat leaving me and Twisted Mind together on the back seat. I don't know, she was showing clear signs of interest in me, but it was really weird because, you know what, Pike had previously told me that she and Twisted Mind had something going on between them. A lesbiano thing. Everyone is bisexual these days, lol. I'm not sure how serious or not serious it might have been, but I didn't want to just ask either. So after a bit of an awkward ride, we arrive at this random dude's house, so we go inside and uh, the guy was living in some one room apartment, it was really small and he also sold weed, cool. He looked really weird too, he had like a really long face and a massive ass forehead. So Pike introduces us to the guy since she's the only one of us he knows. And uh, he offers us shots of, how do I pronounce that? Yeah, Jägermeister. Oh uh, yeah, so that was cool. Now the thing is, we didn't really have any fun activities to be engaged in there, so the dude was like, you know what? And whipped out a fucking bong. Now, I didn't really want to admit that I hadn't smoked the devil's leaf before, because everyone else there had, but I had to. So the guy was just like, oh, well, be prepared to cough your lungs out then. I didn't think that would happen, because clearly I'm way too cool for that. Pike and Twisted Mind take their hits and then it's my turn. I suck the smoke out of the bong and uh, 
I clearly took a hit too large for someone who's never done it before. I really tried to act cool about it, but not coughing was pretty much impossible, so I was just like... <coughs> <coughs> It didn't really feel any different from before after the hit though, but now that I think back, I did get a little high. I just didn't realize it because I was also pretty drunk. We just started playing cards after that, so it was a pretty intense night, I gotta say. The whole time this guy's long face seemed like really freakishly long to me, and I couldn't understand why. Well, it was because of the weed. We literally just played cards for the next two hours, and then this dude starts playing some CSGO and projects the gameplay to his TV for our entertainment. It's like a private live stream. Twisted Mind gets all cuddly with me while we sit on the couch watching the stream while Pike went to the bathroom. This guy was like, you two are like a couple, right? And I said, no, we just met today. I don't like using this word, but that was a pretty cringy moment. And I realized I really need to just stop going along with it. I really wasn't interested in her that much. She was like a 6 out of 10 in my eyes, but... Part of the reason why I did go with it was because I had recently broken up with someone on a negative note. And I didn't really care about anything at this period. My motto at the time was... Don't trust anyone. So Pike comes back and Twisted Mind gets a bit further away from me. It's now pretty close to 5 a.m., so the buses are starting to move again. So we decided to start going back. Before we go, the weed guy's like, if you ever need to get hooked up with the good stuff, then I get the best shit in town. That's literally what they all say. <laughs> so yeah, we just leave. We start moving back to the town. Now, I didn't know whether or not Pike had noticed anything weird going on between me and Twisted Mind, but she was a bit more quiet than before. It might have been just because we were all sobering up now, but I don't know. We take a ride back downtown, and since Pike lived a bit outside of the town, we uh, send her off to another bus. I don't know, I should have been the one to go home first, so that Twisted Mind and myself wouldn't have been left alone afterwards, but that's exactly what happened. So Pike had went home now, and it was just the two of us. So she was like, <laughs> we're finally alone. <laughs> Where do you think we should go? I wanted to go home, but out of niceness, I agreed to go to another pub with her that was still open. Some of the goth and punk kids who were there at the start of the night were in this pub now. This was sort of a place where people from all other pubs migrated to once they closed, so only the most hardcore people were there, along with some homeless looking dudes. Twisted Mind says she's gonna ch go check inside and say hi to some of their her friends and tells me to wait outside. It was around 7 a.m. now, by the way, so while I wait, some pissed drunk, smelly Russian dude who looked like he was in his 30s comes like 10 centimeters away from my face and starts saying some really random shit and then gives me a big ol' smooch on the cheek and just walks away. Yeah. And that's also when Twisted Mind came back outside. So at this point, I didn't really understand what the fuck was going on anymore, as I was pretty much completely sober now. I finally tell Twisted Mind I should get going, and we sit down for one last time while I wait for my bus. I'm pretty sure she wanted us to kiss before I go, but I had enough of one random person kissing me already, so I smoothly turned it into a hug and didn't accept her friend request on the social media. Fucking own, dude. So yeah, the moral of this story is, it's it's not nice to get friend zoned again, but it's always nice to friend zone others when you get the chance to. Don't let goth people buy you alcohol. Don't let random homeless looking Russians kiss you. I know everybody will need this advice at some point of their life because this is all very common shit. So promotion time again. Hello, my name is Terrible Facial Hair, and uh, I have an announcement to make. I've gained a lot of new subscribers recently, so I just want to let you all know that I am taking digital art commissions, so if you happen to be interested in a painting like you saw in this video, or really any other type of artwork, then feel free to check out the link in the description below. Uh, I don't mean to brag, but I've got pretty affordable prices for this skill level. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a really good way to support this channel and my work in general, so... 
Yeah. Okay, that's it. Bye. Yes, bitch. Yes, yes bitch. bitch.